Hi everybody, it's Miss Megan from the Children's Room. Welcome back for another book talk this week. Since it's Native American Heritage Month and Picture Book Month, today I want to tell you about some Native American picture books that I think you'll enjoy. The first one is called We Are Water Protectors. It's written by Carol Lindstrom and illustrated by Michaela Goad. This is a lovely and simple picture book that shows Native American women banding together to save their water and land from the threat of an evil black venomous snake through simple poetic language and evocative illustrations. In the author's note, we learn that in Ojibwe culture, women are the protectors of water. And it goes farther in depth into the history of the beliefs behind that idea. We also learn about the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe, who in 2016 stood in protest against the Dakota Access Pipeline, as the oil pipeline threatened the water, land, wildlife, and even their burial grounds. The background context is as fascinating as it is important, but this is still a powerful story in its own right to be enjoyed by even the youngest readers. Next up is a picture book called Fry Bread, a Native American family story, written by Kevin Noble Millard, illustrated by Juana Martinez Neal. This is another story that can work on multiple levels. On its face, it's a simple story of different Native American families making this delicacy in many ways, but it's also so much more. As Millard explains in his illuminating author's note, there is no single way of making this special food, but it brings diverse indigenous communities together through a shared culinary and cultural experience. And that's the beauty of fry bread. So it was made in many different ways in different traditions all over the country. The colors, shapes, textures, and even flavors can vary from one tradition to another. And everyone thinks their way of making fry bread is the, is the right way and the best way, but it's a shared experience for many Native communities. And much the way that fry bread comes in many different varieties, so is true for the various characters and families we see represented throughout the book. There is no one singular representation of Native American culture, and this book shines in its portrayal of the diversity reflected throughout. It is just a delight. And it even includes a recipe for one way to make fried bread. Finally, I want to tell you about the picture book called Bird Song. This one's by Julie Flitt. This picture book is a little different from the other two that I have talked about. Rather than being focused on a particular aspect of Native American heritage, it tells the slice of life story of a girl and her mom who move into a new house outside the city that she's used to. And over the course of the year, our young heroine makes friends with a older neighbor and this lovely intergenerational tale with characters who just happen to be Cree. This is a sweet and gentle story with charming art that at once feels universal, but also offers specific details in its portrayal of the character's native culture. All these lovely picture books are available to download on Cloud Library at eglendellac.org. And they are a great read for Native American Heritage Month, Picture Book Month, or honestly, any time of the year. Happy reading, everybody.